have an incredible collection of taxidermy at the museum and we're thinking about how to try and get uh, a wider audience interested in that collection and we started talking to the gentleman who run the company Bazaar in Hamden and at first we were thinking about doing a workshop with them and then we realized that there's this whole underground scene that really doesn't get to have their taxidermy shows in anywhere but bars and basements. So we really wanted to elevate the art form and bring it to the museum for a night. Well, I do rogue taxidermy, which um, is what you're gonna see a lot of here tonight, but it's basically taking traditional taxidermy materials and methods and doing new and exciting things with them. I think some of my stuff ranges from like whimsical to creepy and just to the plain WTF. Mine's more just supposed to be fan art because I can't draw, I can't pick up, I, I can't do those things. So instead I, I take dead animals and I make jokes out of them uh, with stuff that exists. I've been attending this as a patron now, patron, a visitor for the past three years. I am so honored to be able to be a part of what this is. The, some of the pieces that are here are astounding. Yeah, I think the, the whole point of the, the um, contest here is to just see the more unusual side of taxidermy, the art aspect of it, and recycling animals that would go to waste, that kind of thing. Um, well, for, for myself and for most of the rope, or the alt taxidermists, um, I insist on ethical sourcing. So everything is dead when I get it. Nothing is killed to make the art. So that's really important to me, and trying to honor the animal um, is also important. I'm interested in both anthropomorphic expression and abstract expression as well. I, I think the, the textures and colors and the three-dimensional landscape of an animal is interesting to me. Uh, and giving life to inanimate objects is also a lot of fun. That you have to know a lot about anatomy and sculpture and different um, sort of art techniques that make it uh, a really challenging hobby or art form um, to where there's a lot more that goes into it than just a cool dead thing.